So hello friends, it is pleasure for me to meet you in another video. This video I am going to speak about 221G. What are the different different points available in 221G and um, what you have to do if something is ticked for you. So before that 221G is something which is given from the embassy's end, embassy end when you apply for an interview. So when you go for an US visa interview, the visa officer will ask you questions and depending on the case, the consulate officer will take a decision whether to approve your visa or refuse your visa. So refusal is not actually a denial. You should know the difference between refusal and denial. Denial means they are sure that they are not going to approve your visa which is same as rejection. But refusal means they need some more uh, documents or some more condition for which they are refusing to give you visa currently but it doesn't mean that they will not give you a visa in the future so when they are refusing a visa they would be giving a form like this which is 221 g so there are various points given in 221 g first what they tell us your application for non-immigrant has been refused as per section 221c so it is it is a section in the us law of the us immigration and nationality act no visa can be issued unless the application is complete so please follow the instruction marked below once any additional requested information has been received and administration processing is completed a consular officer will review your application and will be contacted regarding the outcome of that interview so what they tell is once the required document is received and once again the consular officer reviews it he would be contacting you and will be taking a decision he would be actually contacting you if there is a need for additional documents and if there is no additional documents needed then the consulate officer will take a decision on approving or denying your visa there is an attention word of caution if you fail to follow the instruction given in 221g letter within one year your application will expire so every visa applicant has a period of one year within which they have to take action based on whatever has been ticked in the application so the first one which comes is your application requires additional administrative processing the application will be reconsidered when administrative processing is complete so if this is ticked then nothing can be done from your end which means they need some more time to process the administra administrative work they this application will be resent to the us us side and they will have a third party person using the third party they would be doing a review of your application once again and once they finish the review work they will give a decision on your case and this may take up to 60 days so what i based on what i researched and what i discussed with other persons so you have to wait patiently you can go to the ussc website and check the status i have posted a separate video on how to check the visa status so you can go to the website and give your ds160 confirmation number so you will get the current status and when it was updated so the next point is which says you must appear for an interview with a consular officer at us consulate chennai on any working monday tuesday thursday or friday on or after there will be there is a blank space where they will fill the consulate officer will fill a date between 9 am to 11 am do not pay a new mrv fees for the follow up appointment and please bring this letter and your passport refer to our official website so what this says is you have to appear for an interview the consular officer wants you to appear for an interview this is the case you will get when you apply for a drop box so let the scenario is you have applied for a drop box but your form is not eligible for a drop box in that case they would check the second option and send you back that you have to come for an interview and they will give a date specific date on or above so it's not strict that you have to come on particular date you can come on or after that particular date between 9 to 11 am so if you reach there by 8 or 8 30 sharp nine o'clock they will let you in and you can go inside with your documents and you can go for the interview so under this option we have sub points you may appear alone please bring your dependent passport so in case you are applying for your dependence also 
then the officer may select this box if they want you to come alone second you must be accompanied by a parent so in case they want your parent also to come then you have to come along with your parent in uh, i think in case of minor third is your parent must appear you do not need to appear see this is a case where the consular officer feels that your application need not uh, require you to come but your parent has to come you must be accompanied by your dependents and the final option is please bring the following documents that is a blank space so the consular officer can fill out what are the documents you have to bring any special documents they need so this is a second option where they may ask you to come for an interview if you are already in an interview and still you are getting a 221g then mostly this option would not be checked because already you are in an interview unless they want your parents to come they will not check this box um, so they have mentioned that you need not pay a new mrv fees because already you would have paid 208 dollars 205 dollars or so so you need not pay it again this is the second option third point third point says that submit this letter with the required documents at any of the five visa application center vac or six vfs offices and they have given the link to identify the vac and vfs please log into the travel dac uh, using your account credential download the 221g courier submission letter so they have given the instruction so what are the documents they are asking to submit the sub points under this check the sub check boxes are submit your passport at one of the visa applications so they may ask you to submit your passport submit a new passport at one of the vac so let's say you have submitted a old passport they may ask you to submit a new passport this may be the case when your passport is expiring within next 6 months or so they would ask you to submit a new passport please please submit proof of service payment service can be paid at fmjfev.com the next option is please submit a photograph 50 by 50 mm color photo frontal view with white background taken within the last 6 months so if they feel that your photo is not matching or it is not within 6 months they will ask you to submit the latest photograph so the next sub point under this says please submit all court documents related to prior arrest including final disposition and all related supporting documents so in case you had a legal a legal problem earlier then they would be asking you to submit all the court related documents related to the prior arrest and the final disposition so these are the sub points under main point number 3 the fourth point says you do not qualify for an interview waiver application according to the new interview waiver authority that came into effect from jan 1 2024 so this is something related to my case where i had submitted prior to january 1 2024 and the new policy suddenly kicked in on december 23 2023 and the drop box waiver was ineligible so they submitted they gave another 221 g and telling that you do not qualify for an interview waiver and you have to come for an interview so this is main point number 4 point number 5 is other which is left blank so that the consulate officer can fill out any other thing which is not given in the above points point number 6 says email a pdf copy of this letter and all documents listed below to a particular email id so they have given the email id and they have given a blank spaces for the consulate officer to fill out what are the documents they are asking you to email so they are asking you to email a pdf so you may be asked this one so the next option is which is a very lengthy one they are telling that in one email send all the below information using the subject line your last name first name passport number so they have given a specific subject using that subject you have to send all the below invitation resume position funding travel contact information public information resume of advisor study plan research future plan so they have given a bunch of thing where it is a huge i'll i'm going to put up the 221g letter in the screen so you can take a look at it but it's very huge that you have to attach everything in your email each file should not exceed 2 mb so they have given specific conditions in that format you have to attach all the documents and then send it so the next point is you will receive an email from uh, the chennai admin 
requesting additional information please respond to that email as quickly as possible so what they are telling is you would be getting an email from the consulate you have to email you have to reply to that email as quickly as possible the processing of your application is pending until you submit the requested information that is one of the check boxes the last one is your blanket l1 is not clearly approvable under section 8 cfr 2 212.2 so please be advised that for us visa process the decision constitutes a denial of a visa the last one is clearly stating that it is visa is denied you will not you are not given a l1 visa which is specific for l1 blanket so these are the options now coming to my case my case as i said the interview waiver was not possible so they had ticked the last one and they had, and uh, they asked me to come for an interview but even if you go for an interview they gave another 221g which is second 221g now they stated that your application requires additional administrative processing the application will be reconsidered when your administrative processing is complete so second time also they gave a 221g this is the one so they tell they said that they need more time to review my case and then take a decision so i have to wait so when you get a 221g when you hear that someone is in 221g these are the detailed uh, information on what are possible under 221g and what are the information they may request you from 221g so if you get 221g are chances of visa rejection or denial high no certainly not it is it again depends on case to case if your documents are clear and if the uh, administrative processing is positive then definitely you would be issued an visa i just wanted to share this uh, detailed information on 221g i couldn't find this much in internet so i had i had gone there and come came back so i had been given 220 two times 221g so i just wanted to share with you it might be helpful for someone who is in need of it so if you have any questions do share in the comments box i'll be happy to answer you and i'll meet you in another such educational video until then take care bye bye